Digit is a humanoid robot developed by Agility Robotics, a company founded in 2015 with the goal of creating legged machines that can navigate any environment a human can. Unveiled in 2019, Digit is Agility's second robot, following their first bipedal platform, Cassie, released in 2016. Digit is designed to move dynamically, with nimble limbs and a torso packed with sensors that allow it to navigate complex environments and carry out tasks like package delivery. It has a height of 155 centimeters when standing, weighs 42.2 kilograms, and is equipped with LiDAR, four Intel RealSense depth cameras, MEMS IMU, absolute and incremental encoders for proprioception. It also has two Intel i7 multi-thread CPUs and a payload bay for customer-added computers, such as Intel NUC or NVIDIA Jetson for additional perception or machine learning capabilities. The robot is designed to work in human environments and perform human workflows making it suitable for tasks such as unpacking trucks and moving boxes around warehouses. It can execute a variety of tasks and adapt to many different workflows, making it a versatile tool in logistics and warehouse operations. The latest iteration of Digit includes a head for human-robot interaction and manipulators intended for moving totes, which are the plastic bins that control the flow of goods in a warehouse. The design of Digit's head is carefully done to provide a human-robot interaction, HRI focal point, so that humans can naturally understand what Digit is doing. Digit's hands are designed primarily for moving totes, which are not especially human-like, but they're exactly what Digit needs to do the job that it needs to do. The robot can walk, step up on curbs, crouch, and perform other simple actions, and its main function is to pick up and put down various types of objects weighing up to 35 pounds. Agility Robotics has plans to start manufacturing robots at scale soon, with a plan to ship robots to its partners in early 2024, followed by general availability the following year. The company is also launching a partner program for Digit's first commercial customers. The Fourier GR1 is a general-purpose humanoid robot developed by Fourier Intelligence, a China-based company that primarily specializes in rehabilitation technologies. The GR1 is a bipedal robot with self-balancing capabilities and is designed to revolutionize healthcare with its caregiving capabilities and impressive strength. The GR1 stands 165 centimeters tall and weighs 121 pounds. It is capable of a top walking speed of approximately three miles per hour. The robot is composed of 40 FSA joints, providing it with 44 full body degrees of freedom. The GR1 is built on embodied AI technology, which combines AI technology with physical robots, providing a controllable, perceptible, interactive, and mobile body. This technology allows the GR1 to offer scalability for validating various AI models and algorithms, with significant potential in industrial, rehabilitation, home, and research applications. The GR1 is capable of carrying nearly its own weight, up to an astonishing 110 pounds. It can perform a wide range of tasks, such as walking, navigating obstacles, and picking up tools and utensils. The hands of the GR1 are designed similarly to physical therapy-style grips, signifying their role in therapeutic assistance. Fourier Intelligence plans to manufacture 100 units of the GR1 by the end of 2023. These units will not be fully functional general-purpose robots, but will be hardware-software platforms with basic capabilities. They will be sent mainly to R&D labs, where different robotics teams will try different ways of making these bots smarter, more capable, and ready to get out into the world and make a contribution. The GR1 is seen as a potential game changer in caregiving and physical therapy, especially for the elderly who stay alone. It could serve as a caregiver, a therapy assistant, or a companion at home. The development of the GR1 marks a defining moment for the role of humanoid robots in an age where global aging populations may surpass the number of available human caregivers. The Unitree H1 is a full-size, general-purpose humanoid robot developed by Unitree, a Chinese robotics startup. It is the company's first humanoid robot, building on its experience in quadruped robotics. The H1 stands about 180 centimeters, approximately 71 inches, and weighs about 47 kilograms, approximately 100 pounds. It is equipped with a 3D LiDAR sensor and a depth camera for perception, which allows it to acquire high-precision spatial data and achieve panoramic scanning. The robot features a high-torque joint motor and gear train developed internally at Unitree, with a maximum joint torque of 360 nanometers. The leg joints have five degrees of freedom and the arms have four degrees of freedom. The Unitree H1 is built on embodied AI technology, enabling the robot to interact with its environment in an unprecedented manner. By incorporating advanced algorithms and machine learning techniques, 
The robot is capable of understanding and responding to the world around it, much like a human would. The H1 is capable of versatile movements and high precision in various applications. It can walk and run autonomously in complex terrains and environments, with a walking speed of over 1.5 meters per second and a potential athletic performance of over 5 meters per second. One of the standout features of the Unitree H1 is its competitive pricing. Available at a price point below $90,000, the H1 makes advanced robotic technology accessible to a wider market. In terms of physical specifications, the H1 has a leg length of 400 millimeters and an arm length of 338 millimeters. Despite being lightweight and tall, this robot can maintain its standing position even when subjected to significant shocks at its stability points. The Unitree H1 can be used in various industries, services, and applications, showcasing the potential for a new industrial revolution in the field of robotics. The Tesla Bot, also known as Optimus, is a conceptual general-purpose robotic humanoid under development by Tesla Inc. It was announced at the company's Artificial Intelligence AI Day event on August 19, 2021, with CEO Elon Musk stating that a prototype would likely be built by 2022. The Tesla bot is designed to be a general-purpose, bipedal, autonomous humanoid robot capable of performing tasks that are unsafe, repetitive, or boring. It is planned to measure 173 centimeters tall and weigh 125 pounds, with a carrying capacity of 45 pounds. The robot is controlled by the same AI system Tesla is developing for the advanced driver assistance system used in its cars. As of September 2023, Tesla has released a video demonstrating Optimus doing new activities, including sorting colored blocks by color, its ability to locate its limbs in space, and demonstrating its flexibility by maintaining a yoga pose. However, the development of the Tesla bot has not been without its challenges. The company has had to design and build its own actuators, which are key components for robots as they create motion by converting stored energy into mechanical work. This is because there were no off-the-shelf actuators that worked well for Optimus. Despite these challenges, Tesla has made significant progress with the development of the Tesla bot. As of May 2023, multiple fully Tesla-made bots are now walking around and learning about the real world. The robots can now walk forward slowly without stumbling and can pick up items and recognize objects. However, it's important to note that the Tesla bot is still in the early stages of development, and it's unclear when it will be available for purchase. Elon Musk has stated that he hopes to have the robot production ready by 2023, and that Optimus will eventually be able to do anything that humans don't want to do. Despite the progress made, some experts have expressed skepticism about the project. For example, Carl Berry, a lecturer of robotics engineering, described the 2021 AI Day presentation as the usual overblown hype. Other experts have questioned how advanced the project really is and criticized the choice of a humanoid form. In conclusion, the Tesla bot is a promising development in the field of robotics, with the potential to perform tasks that are unsafe, repetitive, or boring. However, it's still in the early stages of development, and it remains to be seen how it will perform in real-world conditions. The Apollo is a humanoid robot developed by Aptronic Inc., a small business based in Austin, Texas, in collaboration with NASA. The robot is designed for use on Earth in various sectors such as logistics, manufacturing, home delivery, and patient care. However, NASA is also interested in potentially adapting the robots for use in space to serve as assistance for astronauts living and working on the surface of the Moon and Mars, and to act as remote avatars for human operators on Earth. Apollo stands at 5 feet, 8 inches, 1.7 meters, tall, and weighs 160 pounds. 72.6 kilograms. It can lift up to 55 pounds, 25 kilograms, and is designed to be mass-produced and safely work alongside humans. The robot utilizes electricity rather than hydraulics and has a four-hour battery that can be changed out so it can operate for a 22-hour workday. The robot is modular and can be mounted to any mobility platform, stationary or fully mobile with legs. It features LEDs in its head, mouth, and chest that work together to communicate its status. It also has hot swappable battery packs, each with a four hour runtime, allowing Apollo to continue working with a simple battery change instead of a plug-in charge during which time it is not operational. The design of Apollo emphasizes modularity, allowing it to be reconfigured to perform different functions. It can be equipped with different levels of dexterity, autonomy, and the ability to utilize tools depending on which tasks it needs to perform. NASA has contributed expertise on how to develop mobility and software features that provide safe robotic operation when working alongside humans. The initial goal for Apollo is to work in logistics 
taking on physically demanding roles inside warehouses to improve the supply chain by addressing labor shortages. However, Aptronic has a long-term vision for Apollo that extends for at least the next decade. The company envisions Apollo performing tasks that are dull, dirty, and dangerous, so humans don't have to. In the future, Apollo could be used in construction, the production of electronics, retail spaces, home delivery, and even elder care. Apollo's design is rooted in the design of NASA's Valkyrie robot, and the Aptronic team has spent years building unique robots and components that culminated in a humanoid that could function in environments designed for people. The robot's brain, or main computer, is located in its chest. Sensors help the robot remain oriented as it walks over or around obstacles. This kind of locomotion will be key as Apollo makes its way into more uncertain environments, such as the outdoors, and someday even the surface of the moon. Details. The Phoenix is a humanoid general-purpose robot developed by Sanctuary AI, a company based in Vancouver, Canada. It was unveiled as the company's sixth-generation technology in May 2023. Phoenix is powered by Carbon Trademark, a pioneering AI control system developed by Sanctuary AI. This system is designed to give Phoenix human-like intelligence, enabling it to perform a wide range of tasks to help address labor challenges affecting many organizations today. Physically, Phoenix stands at 5 to 7 inches and weighs 155 pounds. It has a maximum payload of 55 pounds and can reach a maximum speed of 3 miles per hour. The robot is equipped with industry-leading robotic hands that have increased degrees of freedom, 20 in total, rivaling human hand dexterity and fine manipulation. These hands are equipped with proprietary haptic technology that mimics the sense of touch. The robot's aesthetics have been improved with a bolder color palette and elevated textures. The Carbon Trademark AI control system integrates modern AI technologies to translate natural language into action in the real world. It enables Phoenix to think and act to complete tasks like a person. The system provides explainable and auditable reasoning, task, and motion plans. It uses symbolic and logical reasoning coupled with modern LLMs for general knowledge, domain-specific integrations, and extensions. The system also incorporates agency and goal-seeking behaviors. It uses deep learning and AMP, reinforcement learning, and provides photorealistic and physics-realistic world simulations for robot training. It also allows for human-in-the-loop supervision, teleoperation, and fleet management. Sanctuary AI has demonstrated that its technology is capable of completing hundreds of tasks identified by customers from more than a dozen different industries. The company's vision is to see general-purpose robots like Phoenix become as ubiquitous as cars, helping people to do work that needs doing, especially in cases where there simply aren't enough people to do that work. In a trial project, Phoenix has been shown packing clothes into plastic bags in the back room of a Canadian shop, a task that engages a lot of different complex issues in an AI-driven robotic system. Sanctuary AI has a system for training Phoenix on specific tasks like bag packing. In partnership with a business, it will film a particular task being done and then digitize the whole event. That data is used to create a virtual environment, which, as well as containing all the objects, simulates the physics including gravity and resistance. The AI can then practice the task in that virtual environment. It can have a million attempts, and when the developers think the AI has mastered the event in the virtual world, it will be allowed to try in the physical world. In this way, Phoenix has been trained to do about 20 different roles. Sanctuary AI was founded in 2018 and is on a mission to create the world's first human-like intelligence in general-purpose robots that will help us work more safely, efficiently, and sustainably, helping to address the labor challenges facing many organizations today. The Atlas robot, manufactured by Boston Dynamics, is a marvel of modern engineering and robotics. This bipedal humanoid machine was brought to life primarily by the renowned American robotics firm, Boston Dynamics. The U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, played a significant role in its development by providing both funding and crucial oversight throughout the design and production process. The primary objective for creating Atlas was to deploy it in diverse search and rescue operations. This innovative piece of technology was first introduced to the world on July 11, 2013. With a stature comparable to an average human, Atlas measures approximately 5 feet in height and tips the scale at 190 pounds. This robot is powered by batteries and relies on hydraulic actuation for its movements, offering an impressive 20 degrees of freedom. Equipped with RGB cameras and depth sensors, these components supply essential data to its intricate control system, ensuring precise and responsive actions. One of the standout features of Atlas is its advanced visual capabilities. 
the robot boasts two distinct vision systems, a laser rangefinder and stereo cameras. These systems are managed by an external computer, ensuring optimal processing power. Moreover, Atlas is designed with hands that emulate human fine motor skills, allowing it to grasp and manipulate objects with precision. Its limbs, which collectively offer 28 degrees of freedom, are adept at navigating challenging terrains. The robot can even climb obstacles using both its arms and legs, showcasing its impressive versatility. Atlas is not just limited to basic tasks, its capabilities are expansive. This robot can seamlessly enter and exit vehicles, even driving them. It can also manipulate doors, operate power tools, and perform a series of gymnastic feats like handstands, somersaults, and rotations without any external assistance. Boston Dynamics attributes these remarkable achievements to innovative training techniques that have significantly expedited the robot's developmental process. In terms of athleticism and agility, Atlas stands out from its peers. It can effortlessly navigate a parkour course, handling jumps, balance beams, and vaults with ease. This robot interacts with its surroundings in profound ways, utilizing its hands and its entire range of motion to its fullest potential. The structural integrity of Atlas is attributed to its composition of titanium and aluminum parts, which are crafted using 3D printing. This composition ensures an optimal strength-to-weight ratio, enabling the robot to execute leaps and flips. Furthermore, its state-of-the-art control algorithms allow Atlas to compute intricate whole-body movements, all while being mindful of its environment. Boston Dynamics envisions Atlas as more than just a robot. It's a research vessel. The company leverages Atlas to explore the frontiers of whole body mobility and dual hand manipulation. Their ultimate goal is to pave the way for the next generation of robots, ones that possess the mobility, perception, and intellect to seamlessly integrate into our daily lives. The CyberOne is a humanoid robot developed by Xiaomi, a large Chinese consumer electronics manufacturer. It stands at 177 centimeters, approximately 5 feet 8 inches, and weighs 52 kilograms, approximately 114 pounds. The robot is equipped with 21 degrees of freedom, allowing it to simulate human movements. CyberOne is powered by a self-developed MySense depth vision module and an AI interaction algorithm, enabling it to perceive 3D space and recognize individuals, gestures, and expressions. It also has a self-developed MyAI Environment Semantics Recognition Engine and a MyAI Vocal Emotion Identification Engine, which allows it to recognize 85 types of environmental sounds and 45 classifications of human emotion. This enables the robot to not only see, but also process its environment. The robot's processing units are paired with a curved old module to display real-time interactive information. The robot's arms can hold up to 1.5 kilograms of weight, which could potentially be useful for tasks such as carrying groceries. However, it's important to note that the CyberOne is primarily a technological showcase and a platform for broader R&D efforts. Xiaomi has stated that the technology applied to CyberOne will be integrated into other Xiaomi products in the future. The company has not made any promises about mass producing the CyberOne, and it's unclear when or if the robot will be available for purchase. Despite this, Xiaomi believes that intelligent robots will be a part of people's lives in the future and is committed to being part of that movement. Neo is a humanoid robot developed by One X Technologies, a Norway-based robotics company in partnership with OpenAI, a leading research organization in the field of AI. The robot is designed to interact with the real world, a concept known as embodied AI, which allows Neo to understand its environment in a much deeper way, thanks to the fusion of AI senses and its physical body. Unlike traditional robots that are programmed to perform specific tasks, NEO is designed to continuously learn and improve, becoming smarter and more capable over time. NEO is designed to excel in industrial tasks across sectors like security, logistics, and manufacturing. It can operate machinery and handle complex tasks with ease. However, the vision for NEO extends beyond industrial applications. OpenAI envisions NEO providing valuable home assistance, performing chores like cleaning, and offering support to individuals with mobility challenges by fetching items and providing companionship. In addition to its practical applications, NEO also holds potential for research, helping the robotics community explore fields like psychology and artificial intelligence. NEO is built on an electrical system and weighs around 30 kilograms or 66 pounds, making it lighter than many of its counterparts. It can walk at around 2.5 miles per hour and run at a speed of 7.5 miles per hour, its carry capacity is around 44 pounds or 20 kilograms, which is impressive considering its weight. NEO's design prioritizes safety. 
The use of soft and organically inspired mechanics ensures the robot doesn't pose physical threats to humans, even in accidental encounters. Engineers have crafted its limbs to mirror human muscle movement, allowing it to navigate our spaces with ease. Embedded with advanced AI, NEO promises natural interaction. A particularly groundbreaking feature of NEO is its VR teleop sync mode. This technology enables remote control of the robot through virtual reality, VR. Much like controlling avatars in a digital space, operators can manipulate NEO in real time, from a distance. What's more, NEO is designed to learn from these VR teleop sessions, further enhancing its autonomous behavior. OpenAI has announced that NEO will be open for pre-orders at the end of 2023. This suggests that we are likely to get our first look at this very capable artificial intelligence embodied physical robot backed by OpenAI's software systems this year. The deployment of NEO represents a significant milestone in the field of AI. It will be fascinating to see how effectively it is adopted and the impact it will have on various sectors and our daily lives.